that's the cycle of art and it takes life and life and it takes art. Can I, I'm so glad you asked this question. And I want to reiterate something to me. It has to be on this is hey, if we as the parents, we are responsible, we don't have to do that. That's what this is expected. So we really have to understand the influence of music that we all agree, agree to understand that it has its big influence, right? But we overplay the influence and don't understand, in my opinion, what it means when I say we have to have control. So I just want to highlight this, this particular stuff. So, for example, the, the bias that we see, and obviously some of you are talking about this, right? The other aspects of the bias that we see, and then we talk so about it in the nature. And so what happens is, as we, as the parents, as the older coach, I'm into a kids and being a teacher, we lay a, we lay a little, we overplay and lay too much at the feet of the music, and we're actually letting ourselves off the hook. And it's because we don't understand the actual influence of the music. So here's the mistake of how we misunderstand the influence. So you may understand that there's a, a genre within hip hop called drill music, which is constantly talking about death and that type of thing that's become popular over the last few years. And so this, the mistake we make with the influence is I'm the same age as hip hop, and remember when NWA hit the scene, and all you are going to chase whatever the rebel music of the time is. 70s disco was doing things and youth chasing it from the 60s to rock and roll to whatever the rebel music of the time is, each generation is going to chase that rebel music. And it's just contrasting with whatever adults would think is cool. Like it's really that simple. Like there were a 26 year old as an adult to a kid, they're going to chase something that's different than what they think is cool. Like I'm simplifying it because that's reality and what we were doing when we were, when I was first listening to NWA and Ice Cube and that type of thing. But the reality is, we know that there are people in the board that are listening to Jay-Z right before they make a presentation to the group. They listen to Ice Cube right before they make a presentation to the group because of the feeling and the influence of the music. But I say overplay it. So, drill music has been popular the last few years. Right before, I'm gonna make a couple, pull a couple stats and make it all make sense. So right before the pandemic, the murder for our community was the lowest it had ever been. Drill music was running hip hop. And so we have this concept that the music is creating the action. The reality is drill music came from people who live live and feel already in the streets. They just learned how to make music. And so if you're understanding what I'm saying, when we're saying, hey, why are these artists rapping about this? And now we see some of the other artists say things that get them in jail, which of course the adults are like, that's really stupid. But we're thinking it's the music, not realizing this is this kid's background. So the issue is, what was his background to still want to make that music? And so we let ourselves off the hook when we say, hey, look at the music. Because we think the music influences you to go to put those actions. It's your background already, that you did or did not have, that had some of those kids doing those actions. The majority of people making that music ain't doing any of those things. I'm not trying to make, let the music off the hook, we just highlight when we just talk about the music, we're letting ourselves off our parental and responsibilities to make sure that our children are not coming up in environments, which a lot of us are already doing. We just keep shooting to the music, not realizing that crime rate follows do we provide them jobs, not the music they listen to. And I, I'll have to cross up with that. So there, there's a bunch of things, and I'm going to make this really short. Uh, so with the influence of music, it, as you mentioned, it's generational, right? So now the thing is, is when you're talking about backgrounds, everybody has a different background. And unfortunately, you, you guys know this as black men, they're looking at us and feel that we all have the same hardship, uh, was born in the inner city, uh, was surrounded by the drug dealers or, or, or prostitutes. Or, they just think of the most just, <laughs> The, the, this worst time that anybody can grow up on, and, and it's not necessarily true. I turned 50 in February. I grew up Duran Duran, U2, you know, the, the, the heart of, of, of MTV uh, <laughs> Friday night videos, right? So when I when I talk about the music and I, and, and I get eclectic, I can go back and, and go classical, Beethoven, 
you know, stuff like that because I was a concert band drum first. So my upbringing is totally different. What I chose to do as our family is to change the dynamic. We grew up in the city of Chicago. Moved out, moved on up, right? Uh, come to the south suburbs of Chicago, and we were very, we did very well. But now the thing is, is we don't have to be subject to what we see. God gave us the ability to know right 